Oh, beautiful colors. Beautiful colors. Good morning, Fish on Alberta viewers. It is a frosty September morning. Today I will be hitting Phyllis Lake with Victor and Terry Ann, and by the looks of things, you can see Jeff getting his stuff ready, so he will probably be joining us, which is awesome. Um, I have a few things to explain today, uh, but I will do that when we get on the water, so let's get on the road. Oh, you checked out Beaver. Mm -hmm. Well, I made a foolish mistake this morning. I, uh, I forgot to bring my rubber boots. So I'm gonna have to just walk in barefoot and get a little bit cold. Well, neighbor, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Well, I heard you, you guys were coming and give me an excuse to go to the Phyllis. Yeah. <laughs> All right. First fish of the day, he took the midnight fire. Look at those colors. Beautiful colors. Oh! Missed them. I was too busy getting them out my water. So I'm watching, watching Jeff tie on a fly over there and a fish Breached the surface behind him and that was a gorgeous fish. Big purple log coming out of the water. Oh yeah, this is nice. Little rainbow. All right, we got a little rainbow. Whoa! We got multiple rainbows on top here. One just tried to attack this one. I just want my fly back, little guy. Just want my fly back. All right, that was a quick release. It's like a whole school of them here now. All right, yeah, I just lost them. Just lost them. Don't even know what he took. Oh, a little slow with the camera. All right, I'm cruising over to the beaver dam. Gorgeous color. <laughs> All right, Victor and Terry Ann are here. Jeff is over in the corner. The whole gang is here. All right, let's go catch some fish. Ah, oh, the sound of nature. The birds, the fish, and the gunshots. A uh, little rainbow. A little rainbow. And he's off. Because I gave him too much slack because my line is wrapped up in my life vest. Alright, well, another one for the Hell Care Caddis. Alright, so once again. My apologies for the lack of videos lately. Um, I can't say I didn't try though. I uh, ended up going to the Bow River. I found a nice access spot and I was trying to make it up to the Bear Spa Dam, but I ended up spending more time bushwhacking and 
climbing through the freaking cliffs than I actually did fishing. And uh, considering it was a limited amount of time, I was uh, it was an uphill battle. But I did try. And then uh, the following weekend, I was going to hit the other side, but things just happened. My health's been deteriorating, but we're out here today. I'm trying to get some kind of a video for you guys. Look at the colors in these little things. And look at the colors. Look at the colors on that fish. That's a pretty looking fish. I don't care how big he is. Oh, he kicked me. Workplace violence. Another fish. Ooh, such pretty colors. All right, little beat up, little beat up, and he's gone. Just a little guy. Oh, smallest one of the day. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Oh yeah, look at the little boy. Still has the par marks on him. All right. I think I'm just gonna quick release you, bud. Give me my fly, please. It's very important I get this back. Thank you. All right. Smallest fish of the day. And it was still fun. I don't need big fish to be happy. Elk hair caddis. Ooh. These little things gotta fight sometimes. Sometimes. Oh, that might be the smallest of the day. What the hell are you, four inches? Yeah, you look like a freaking whale. I'm gonna use a net on you. Ugh. Yep. Ugh. I could probably cast with him. <laughs> All right, give me your little freak. Oh. Well, we got another fish here, just a little guy, but man, the colors on these guys. That purple. These are gorgeous animals. Gorgeous animals. I knew it. The second we started to move, we got a fishies. And another little guy, I think. Yep, another little guy. Uh, let's look at. Oh! Uh, rookie mistake. Punched him in the head with the net and he got away. Whoops. Man, that elk hair cat is today. Yeah. Well, you tuck it out, no fighting yet at all. I just went back to the elk hair caddis and it's working again.
right, that's going to do it for us at Phyllis Lake. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Fish on Alberta. If you're interested in more Fish on Alberta content, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. You can also join our Instagram and Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. Always remember to clean, drain and dry your gear. Help prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species and diseases. Aquatic invasive species, such as zebra or quagga mussels, can be spread from one water body to another on boats or gear that have not been properly cleaned, drained, and dried between uses. Invasive plants can also spread through small fragments attached to gear or a watercraft. Fish diseases, like whirling disease, can be spread through mud and water. To prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species and diseases always clean, drain, and dry all watercrafts and gear that touches the water between water bodies. Pull the plug. It's the law. In Alberta, it is illegal to transport your watercraft with the drain plug still in place. Watercraft users must demonstrate, upon inspection, that their watercraft has been drained of standing water. Those who fail to comply may be subject to a fine. You can learn more about aquatic invasive species, the impact they have on ecosystems, and how you can avoid spreading them by clicking the link in the description below. And keep in mind, you can play a role in protecting fish and wildlife resources and our natural surroundings by observing the activity around you. You can report suspicious and illegal activity by calling the number on the screen or by visiting reportapoacher.com. When you report an incident you could be eligible for a reward for providing information on violations of Alberta's fish and wildlife laws. If you would like to learn more about the durable and lightweight backwater boat used in today's episode, you can visit the manufacturer's website by clicking the link in the description below. All the music in this episode was downloaded from upbeat.io. Thanks for watching.